Distinguished adventurers, welcome to the Sketching Hour. I am your host, Lauren, and I am here, as always, with two amazing, fabulous artists who are uh, below me on the overlay, which I was just adjusting at the last minute because that's fun. Michelle, would you go ahead and introduce yourself, please? Hi, I'm Michelle Papadopoulos, and I'm looking forward to today. Oh, and so am I. And Alexis, <laughs> would you introduce yourself, please? Hi, I'm Alexis. I like to draw, and I'm really stoked to be here. Awesome. I am too, even though I am nervously looking at all of the technical things that are going on. Whew. So on this show, if you are new to our show, we take a moment and randomly roll on these three tables here to create a new creature out of a monster, an adjective, and a cute animal. And while our two artists are doing an amazing job creating new creatures in front of our very eyes, I work with chat to come up with names and backstories and all kinds of stuff for that. So let's get to the rolling, shall we? I have, mm -hmm. I have one of my Lapis Leslie dice mm -hmm. in today, and it won't focus because camera, because technical issues. So pretty. It is very pretty, even if it is blurry. Okay, uh, let us begin with the rolling, shall we? Mm-hmm. Ooh, you, you got a nice sounding roll there. I, mine is all all muted. Um, I'm first. I got a 10, so I got a flump. <laughs> I love it. Uh, Michelle, I believe you have adjectives? Yep, and I got eight for sleepy. Yeah, sleepy. Yeah, sleepy or in PJs. In PJs. <laughs> if, if, if you would like to put them in pajamas, you are welcome to. And Alexis? I got five for dolphin. Ooh, okay. Oh. So we have a sleepy flump dolphin that is being created today. Sure. Mm. I don't know why I'm surprised every single time. Uh, so our artists are going to be using a program called Magma Studios, which lets them collaborate on the same art canvas and lets us watch and is just kind of a fun way to be able to collaborate in art. And while they're doing that... I think I have to update the title of our stream, uh, but the title of our stream is, is a clever way of reminding me that I have an update for all of you. Uh, y you might wonder why it says guest next week. Well, sorry, I'm also getting, uh, I'm being told whether the audio sounds good or not. Uh, so next week, I'm not here. That's right. You get to have a sketching hour without me. I'm going to be gone. I'm going to be out of town for a couple of days. But you do still get a sketching hour because uh, the fabulous Margaret is going to be coming on in to take over hosting duties and production duties and chatting with chat duties and all of that fun stuff. So uh, enjoy a wonderful week with Margaret. And I, I look forward to coming back and seeing what y'all created without me. But... Uh, yeah, I figured I'm, I'm watching the chat and everyone's like, yay, Margaret. So <laughs> yay, Margaret. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. Uh, so now with that taken care of, let's go ahead and update the title of this episode because why not? Why not? Also, I have to figure out how to update the title of this episode. I, I might be using a different system than I did last time. And so everything's all new and I might be slightly nervous, but that's okay. It's, it's all going to work. What are we drawing again? We're drawing sleepy flump dolphins. There we go. <laughs> yep, that's correct. Sleepy, sleepy dolphin flumps or sleepy dump, sleepy flump dolph. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> what what do the two of you think? Flump dolphins or dolphin flumps? Flump dolphins. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. Alexis, which which do you want? Oh, uh, <laughs> dolphumpkins. <laughs> <laughs> and Michelle, how about you? <laughs> I like dolphin flumps. Nice and simple. Okay. All right, since so Dolph Flumpkin sounds like dolphin should go first for the both of you. So dolphin uh, flumps. There, there. Look, I have I have updated all of the things. It's happening. Chat, it's happening. We're actually putting on a show. It's great. Okay. 
All right. I think I think we've yeah, Flumpkins. I think we've already got the name of this <laughs> show of these creatures. I think they're called Flumpkins. I'm excited to see what the closed captioning does with me saying Flumpkins, but I'm just going to keep saying it. Yeah, oh, it actually looks like it's working pretty good. Is that a real thing? Have we is Flumpkin a real thing? F L U M P K I N. I'll even use the closed captioning spelling of it. Why why not? Is is this is this what happens when Dolph Lundgren gets uh, a, a pet? No one got that joke. That's okay. <laughs> That's fine. I'm old. All right, chat. Um, since you might be new and you are wondering uh, what the end result of this might be, or maybe what happened last week, let me show you the joy of last week's grumpy giant spider bunnies. That's right, giant spider bunnies. <laughs> the reactions to these two creatures have filled my heart with joy every single time. Everyone that I've ever talked to uh, this past week, showing them these two creatures, everyone has a different reaction. And it's amazing. <laughs> Lots of cute, but... Uh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, that that awesome, awful mixture of that's... that's Adora horrifying. I don't know how to <laughs> react to that. It's It's... It's beautiful, but it was also inspiring to at least a couple of people. We had Banana Mobster back who made not one, but two versions of, oh, nice. yeah, with all the legs. Oh, wow. That's cool. Personally, I find the one that is more rabbit with spider parts way more horrifying than the spider with a couple bunny parts. I don't yeah. know why. I think because the implication is that it's bunny sized, which is much larger than a spider. Oh yeah, I didn't even think about that. I was just like, oh, that's a that's a lot of extra legs on that bunny. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That spider face is pretty horrifying. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's true. That's true. But uh, I mean, they're both awesome. So thank you, Banana Mobster, and then our very own Bronwyn. Look at that. Oh, I love Bronwyns. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, so many Looks legs. So soft, but also. So many legs. I, will, I want to pet and run away at the same time. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing. So yes, if you decide that you would like to join in the fan art and uh, making your own creature, you can either create a sleepy dolphin flump or some other creature. Maybe you roll your own creature on our rolling tables, but definitely let us know. Tag us on Twitter. Use the hashtag sketching hour to let us know so that we have an easier time finding it. And maybe your art will get featured here uh, next to all of the other horrifying creatures that we come up with. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez. It is. I don't know if this one's going to be quite as horrifying, so... No, I don't think it will be. <laughs> no, no. I think we ended up with uh, two cute creatures at the same time. It, it, it's going to be a cute, uh, not an appetif. What do they call it when it's after the meal? The thing that you, like a palate cleanser? Um, uh, there's a word for that. Yeah. The appetif is the before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, oh. A sousson? I think I think a sousaw is just a little a little bit, but there's a, a specific word that is the oh I'm getting digestif. Oh, uh, to that's it. Totally that makes sense. Right. Thank you, um, Xsplit DVD and Cats T and Meister Wilbur for digestif. The more you know. <laughs> um, oh, I almost forgot to say that our wonderful mod Sasha is in chat and is going to be grabbing questions and suggestions and all sorts of things and helping out for when I'm unable to watch the chat. So if you do have a question or a suggestion for a replacement for our rolling tables, which we're always looking for replacements, or a just a question in general about the game or for our artists definitely let us know put question in all caps in the chat before your question so it's a little easier for sasha to grab it and for us to see it and uh we will do what we can to answer your questions but i at this moment am going to solicit the replacements for the three words because I want to set Margaret up for success. And so I need to make sure that she's got three excellent rolling tables with all new words on them. And and now we have to make some changes. 
Uh, Loki Grommel wants a suggestion of a fiddler. And then, mm -hmm. and then we will have to put them on the roof, of course. <laughs> yes. Um, Dunk for RN says Wraith Hot Butterfly. So, Wraith for a monster. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't Good think, suggestion. Yeah, I don't think we have that. I know we're, we tend to try to avoid the human uh, proportioned creatures, but Wraith is, that's mostly ghostly. Um, butterfly, I could have sworn we had on this list. We have caterpillar? We do have caterpillar. You know what? We don't have butterfly. I will add butterfly. Thank you. I actually really like the um, human proportioned ones that we've ended up doing, like the elephant eggs and the, um, uh, what are they called? Um, mind flare. The oh, mind flare. The mind flare ones. rats uh, yeah. or mice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I really like how all those turned out. Mm. We did butterfly. Did we do a butterfly? No, I don't think no. so. Oh, counting coup. Are we? We're, maybe someone did a version of a butterfly, like they rolled on their own rolling tables. Because I don't remember us doing a butterfly. I mean, I know we're at episode sixteen, and I've already forgotten a lot of what has been going on. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting to the point where I can't remember it all anymore. We've done too much. Uh. Gallopy wants to know, have you used Confused? The I don't think so. I'm sorry, I got confused by the, the barking dog. There was a <laughs> there was doggy in the background. I'm like, is oh, now I'm confused. Uh, yeah, I can it's mailman time. <laughs> uh, let's see. Star Chaser 43 she just says a monster, a clown. Okay, so I'm not disagreeing at all. And uh, anyone who has seen it agrees with me. We do try to keep the monsters in the D and D version of monsters, mm. but yeah, clowns are scary. Clowns are really scary. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Loki Grommel suggests a meerkat for a cute animal. Which <gasps> oh, those would be adorable. Those, Love those. Would... yeah. I don't think that's even on my. Uh, backup list, so mere cat. Let's see. Uh, Let's Manic has joined us and says, Hi, I want a really bad looking beholder. I hope it'll come. We actually, that I do remember. We did a beholder. It was otter beholders. Yes. I don't remember what the adjective was for the otter beholders. Uh, uh, is it bejeweled? Yes! Or fancy? Yeah, I think it was. I think it was fancy outer beholders. You're right. You're right. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So check out uh, if you go to our YouTube, you can see all of our previous episodes on our YouTube channel. We have a whole playlist, and fancy outer beholders are waiting for you because I I agree, beholders are scary. Uh, yeah, clown beholders. Oh jeez. Oh. Everyone's yeah. Uh, cola pops, a cute animal, a cackapoo. I think I have seen a cackapoo before. I might be pronouncing that wrong, but that's close enough. Uh, K K P. I'm. You know what? I'm gonna have to look this up. Cackapoo. Cackapoo. <laughs> oh yeah, those. Okay, they're birds. That's what I thought for a second. They're like an owl and a parrot. Uh, had a had a baby, and made Aww. made an adorable adorable bird. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, now everyone just wants me to add clown to the monsters because everybody is, is talking about the clown beholder from the, the epic stream. <laughs> mm. It would Could be we... fun to do. But... Yeah. Can we compromise and put it on the adjectives list? Ooh. Oh, yeah. Clownish. Yeah. That is. That, that could actually work. I like that because I feel. I'd feel bad putting clown on the monster list, even though they are horrifying. But I, I do like having cl uh, clown. And then you could decide if it comes up, if you want to go like classic, trying to be happy, uh, funny clown, uh, sad French noir film clown. Mm -hmm. If you're trying to go it clown, like you have some options. I need to make a note that it's an adjective, just so I remember. Uh, Danny Mel. 
Oh, I didn't say we could start putting other like professions on the list, <laughs> and then we'll end up with like chef <laughs> and um, construction worker and doctor, <laughs> and then it's just the the crew from uh, the song the YMCA, and I'm okay yeah. with that. That'd be fun. <laughs> I'd be super okay with that. And and the adjective list turns into a job list. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> um, Danny Malroar says if giant spider made it. In, could a giant octopus go in as well? I don't see why not. Although, I think... I know I've got octopus on the backup list for cute animals. And I am pretty sure... Yeah, we added Leviathan onto this list. And... We had another octopus creature in the monster list. So... We may have to be careful about too many octopus. Pie? <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> captions got that correct. Congratulations, captions. Sorry, <laughs> I have I get distracted by that every once in a while. <laughs> Earl Grey Malkin suggests an adjective totally not evil. Yes, yes, absolutely. <laughs> Pretending to be evil but not really evil. Um that is that is absolutely the Kaiser Vex way. Uh, I don't know if you're actually making a, a reference to the fabulous Mark Mir and his Dragonborn cleric, but I'm going to take it that way. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, it is. We're getting to that point in where it's getting harder and harder to come up with brand new things to put on the list. Oh, sorry, we got a couple of questions uh, that got put over. Oh, geez. No, it's just a bunch of people talking about clowns. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we have a clown beholder coming? A monster clown. Yes. Yes. If you didn't see what some people in chat are talking about, we did a big stream a couple of weeks ago at this point um, on the Epic channel, actually, that spoiled slash gave away some information about new stuff that's coming up in the future. We don't do that very often. We usually keep things fairly close to the chest, but we talked about stuff that's coming up in the next couple of months, including new champions and new adventures and all kinds of new stuff and new art. And it included a beholder clown and it was, it was the hit. Everybody loved it. Everybody wants, they, they're super excited about it. And there was absolutely no one who was terrified by it. <laughs> Not a single person. Nope. Everybody thought it was gorgeous. Absolutely. <laughs> a Harlequin mimic. <laughs> you, okay, so if a mimic turns into a mime, is it just a mimic with the face paint on? Or does it turn into another creature that is also a mime? Does it turn into a humanoid being a does mime? It- does it turn into an invisible box? Okay, that's kind of brilliant. I love that. <laughs> it just it just goes invisible. It's completely invisible. I love that. Oh, jeez. That's that's what you should draw the next week. Here we go. Done. Poor Margaret. It's imaginary, isn't it? Wonderful. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if you don't like it, it's because you're not creative enough. <laughs> Just think really hard. Just yeah. think. can't can't you all see it? I can see it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, Cassie is three three five asks forget or says forget the clown beholder. What about the circus workers? I don't know. Like I feel like clowns have that. They've got that weird, uncanny valley thing that I think is the actual reason why so many people find them creepy and disturbing. Whereas carnies, people who work at a carnival, like they're just hardworking people who move and lift things. Like I'm not, they're they're just people, mm-hmm. you know, working at a carnival, probably really sick of cotton candy, but otherwise, eh, that's fine. I was never a fan of clowns just because I don't like being the center, like the focus of attention. And like, I don't like, I'm a bit of an introvert. So like having a clown come up to me and be like, Oh, I'm going to make you blue. It's like, no, people aren't looking. (laughs) So do you have that? (laughs) So do you have that same reaction to any attention drawing thing? Like if you're at a restaurant and a a strolling musician comes by, is it the same kind of thing? Yeah, totally. 
like the restaurant birthday song thing it's like if you do that to me we are not friends anymore <laughs> that's a common thing there are a lot of people who it's like all right yeah sure let's go out for my birthday but if you if you make these poor people who work at this restaurant sing the happy birthday song for me i will walk out yeah. that'll be the end yeah. of our friendship <laughs> Uh, Star Chaser 43 asks, does anyone remember if Rust Monster was suggested? Ooh. I don't think it's on the list. I don't see it. Let me let me do a quick look through oh, this giant list that I have now. Nope, I don't see it. That's a good one. Added. They're kind of cute. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine a like a robot Rust Monster? Or a steampunk rust monster, like what that would be like. All right, so if you have a robot rust monster, what is it actually rusting? Mm -hmm. And is it like trying, is it like biting its fingernails off? Like, mm. <laughs> I'm delicious. <laughs> Auto cannibalism. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Okay, now we're back to the horror. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Nope, nope. <laughs> Never be sorry. At one point, once again, we're going to end up with teeth and it'll be all okay. Yep. Let's see. TC Hatchet uh, suggests for an adjective steam powered. So we have, uh, it's not steam powered. We've got steampunk on there. I think, mm -hmm. I think that's probably close enough, right? Yes, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we could add is a teapot. <laughs> is it... <laughs> okay. <laughs> so is cake is a teapot. <laughs> I mean, today is basically is is in PJs. So yeah, uh, we can see here for a suggestion because for a moment because Gregarious has a suggestion for an adjective of mustachioed. Um, bearded did make it onto the list. It is number three. Uh, there was someone Danimal Roar who asked what were the three new words added to the week this list, and I believe bearded was one of them. So I. I think mustachioed is good. I think I'm going to wait for bearded to go off the list. Uh, but I'll keep that in reserve. Maybe when bearded goes off the list, I will put mustachioed on there. Oh, jeez. Adjectives from Wandering Berift. Pestilence, neon, desiccated, and mirrored. Ooh. Neon. Yeah. Well, I, I had a lot of fun when we did a rainbow, so... Yeah, yeah, but yeah, like that. <laughs> now is is getting things to glow, is that a hard thing to do in art? Is that an easy thing? Like is is a glowing object is that a weird thing to draw? No. 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 So, yeah. There's the lazy way of just like adding an extra layer, grabbing like a nice big soft brush, lowering the opacity, picking bright color and then just like it's glowing. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it glow. <laughs> yeah. I love this live demonstration. That was very yeah. neat. <laughs> oh, that's good to know. I always assume, especially with things that I know very little about the technical aspects of, like art, I always assume everything is just really hard and I just don't know how to do the thing. And that's fine. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, we've got <laughs> more suggestions coming in. Oh, and, uh, and a question that is more, real, it's more for Todd for Heroes of the Plains, uh, but Cassius335 wants to know, what is the correct adjective to describe rend made from multiple items, but in fewer words? So for those that don't know, there is an NPC in, in the game that I play in on Tuesdays with Heroes of the Plains that is, their name is Rend. They are... They are technically a warforged, I think, but the reality of what kind of creature they are is they are a conglomeration of a bunch of magical items that got smushed together and turned into a sentient creature. Mm, such a cool concept. And Rend is a lovely character. I, I've, I've enjoyed all of our interactions with Rend, even though Rend, uh, on a very regular basis, wants to uh, suggest taking people's heads off, but it's always <laughs> in the most innocent of ways. <laughs> Um, <laughs> made from multiple items, but in fewer words. I, I mean, conglomeration, I think, is the way to describe. Also, you could just say rend. Um, but yeah, I think, I think that is more appropriately a question for Todd Kenrick. 
Now, whether Todd is in the chat or not, I don't know. But uh, if they ever show up, you can ask. Oh, wow. We've got a lot of suggestions now. I look away for five seconds and, and y'all have some fun. Y'all pulled out a thesaurus on me, didn't you? <laughs> uh, Loki Grommel suggests an adjective of blurred. Okay. Okay, my artist friends. If I put blurry on the adjective list, is that funny or annoying? Hmm. Is there a blur, is it blur function in I don't think this, Yeah, I don't think this one has a blur tool. So, <laughs> no. <laughs> Unless we did like part of it blurry and then we just manually do mm -hmm. it. But Yeah. Yep, that could work. There isn't a smudge tool. You could just draw something and then be like... <laughs> Uh, not in this program. Uh, Kinvrap suggests sword wielding as an mm -hmm. adjective. Yep. That with was... sword. With okay. sword. Okay. I'm going to say with sword only because we could end up with a creature that does not have a opposable thumb in order to actually wield a sword. And so by mm -hmm. saying with sword, uh, that gives us some options. Especially mm -hmm. if we end up with a creature like the uh, spider horse. Uh, Danimal Roar suggests an adjective of morose. I don't know. I don't know if that would work, but that's a, such a good... It's such a good adjective. It's such a good word, morose. But that's a really... It's really evocative. I'm just... I'm unsure. Yeah, it's a really good word. <laughs> oh, Earl Grey Malkin just added a monster that I don't know how to say and I feel horrible because they say it's one of their favorites. Uvaduum? Uva Uva Dam. Nope. Uva U Oh jeez. All right. <laughs> to the Googles. We're going to we're going to figure this out. U V U U D A U M. Hmm. I don't think this is in 5th edition. Hmm. It's a Far Realms creature. Well, that's why I can't pronounce it. It's a Far Realms creature. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Scourge of... Oh, jeez. Yeah. Okay. That is an interesting looking creature. I have no idea how to describe that, except... Okay. If a spider... <laughs> and a giraffe... <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, <I'm not> <laughs> that's all you have to say. It's I'm not even halfway there, too. Spider <laughs> and a giraffe and a and a, a a lich. There we go. Spider giraffe. If we ever have spider giraffe lich, we end up with this creature. Oh. I'm gonna look that up later. That is not something that is in fifth edition, but I am not opposed to putting it in there. But there's a lot going on with that creature already. It already looks like it's an amalgamation of of four or five other things but that's super cool or gray malkin thanks for the the in, the dropping of that creature that i still cannot pronounce but is kind of neat looking it is yes oh luke mckay's in chat wants to know could this be an adjective yourself like draw yourself or a self-portrait as a Ooh, creature that'd yeah. be really fun that would be fun <laughs> Ooh, i mean the two of you already have these awesome uh art portraits right down here so uh the next step would be to add an adjective and add a monster <laughs> <laughs> i feel like if we do that though then i think you two should get to pick your monster yeah or Ooh. at least draw separate monsters so that we can get a little variety Ooh. yeah i like that yeah if we get to pick we're both just gonna be like unicorn <laughs> yeah <laughs> mermaid, mermaid. <laughs> i mean if it's popular, if you love it, why not? I feel like if you're going to do a self-portrait like that, though, then then you should have a little bit more control over what that other what those other words are. Mm -hmm. um, the chat has decided that unnecessarily censored should be an adjective. Andrew Merch <laughs> suggested that. Uh, Garwar wants censored as an adjective, and Werewolf Kai has also they want censored. Uh, could someone just put a black bar over something right now? <laughs> just give me a nice big, like, black rectangle. <laughs> oh. Oh, <let's> <laughs> that doesn't work. Uh, there we go. I mean, 
<laughs> yeah. Got to cover that disgusting <laughs> sleepy eye. <laughs> Distinguished adventurers. Censored. <laughs> Done. Done. <laughs> What's under the bars? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it. Um... All right, I think for the moment we're good on suggestions. Uh, I do have a ton, and and but I do appreciate it. <laughs> yes, Irene UK says redacted. Uh, absolutely, we're gonna just redact that eye stock. Uh, what I need now, since we're halfway through this episode, I know time flies when you're having fun with sleepy dolphin flumps. So. I think we've got a pretty good idea of what these creatures are looking like. And I would love to know from chat, how does a flump and a dolphin form a new creature? Uh, and I would like to suggest, although I'm open to many other possibilities, that when a beholder has a pleasant dream, this is what it creates. Because beholders, when they dream, they can dream new beholders into existence or other beholders. And I think when they have good dreams, when they have pleasant dreams filled with candy, I don't know, <laughs> uh, and sweet smelling farts because flumps, then this is what they dream of, our sleepy dolphin flumps. But <laughs> Trevor's in chat and says, a wizard did it. Well, yes, of course a wizard did it. That's always the answer. But, you know, sometimes it's fun to come up with, with different ones for these flumpkins. Oh, bye, Mars. Thanks for coming by. Bye. A wizard did it and then ran away. I don't know. These are pretty cute creatures. I think if, if a wizard did one of these, then, then they'd stick around. They'd be happy. Hmm. I'm trying <laughs> to think if my dolphin flump had a like plushie, what would that plushie be? Oh, like a, a teddy bear that they snuggle up with? Yeah. All right. Is... Is your creature so adorable that they're one of those adorable creatures that would then cuddle up with a plushie that is of something horrific? Probably, yes. <laughs> like a centipede or something. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I see. Uh, can Revit a starfish? That would be cute. Oh. Mm. A bearded dwarf plushie from Danimal Roar. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, a, oh drow plushie. Oh. Gelatinous cube. Would would a gelatinous cube be a plushie, or would it be one of those like uh, rubbery squishy? Mm. Uh, I don't know what the term is for those those toys that are the rubbery squishy ones. You can throw them against the wall and they stick. <laughs> mm, um, I, well, I don't know. Brain dead today. Uh, yeah, that's okay. It's fine. Mm. It's fine. It's just a word that I should be using on a stream in front of a bunch of people. You know. Uh, I did like uh, Bavarian said, do cyborg beholders dream of electric flumps? I appreciate that reference <laughs> very, very much. Also, we have a bunch of new people who have just joined us, probably from the game, because usually we put alerts out in the game and they come looking for this awesome chest code and wondering, hey, what's this show about? Welcome to the sketching hour where Alexis and Michelle draw a brand new creature based on random rolls from this rolling table. And I talk with chat. I think that's the most succinct that I've ever described this show, and I'm going to stick with it. <laughs> uh, so, yes, we are currently in the process of creating sleepy dolphin flumps. And the question is, how do these creatures live? What what do they do? So, so dolphins are, uh, they work together in pods. They are mammals, but they live in the ocean. They are incredibly intelligent. Flumps are uh, under dark jellyfish who are telepathic and fart when they get scared. So <laughs> let's put these two things together and make them adorable and sleepy because that's what happens. Uh, what? So dolphins are actually hunters. They're, they're pretty vicious hunters from what I remember. Whereas flumps feed on the, the telepathic thoughts of others. And so, so what do sleepy dolphin flumps, uh, what are we calling these? Flumpkins. What do flumpkins, what do they hunt? What do they eat? I don't know, Michelle, Alexis, any thoughts? Um, uh, Cotton candy. Reddit stolen from kids. 
<laughs> or at least the thought of cotton candy. Mm -hmm. Just the, the idea of cotton candy. <laughs> um, Alien Dural says the left one definitely works at an office and he's not happy about it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hey, go into my day job. Oh, what what kind of day job does a flumpkin have? Mm, counting. Mm. <laughs> Accounting. I mean, they are smart. They are super duper smart. Uh, Barefoot Monkey says, I don't know about you, but if I got lucky with a deck of many things, I'd wish that flumps could be dolphins too. That's probably where they came from. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you ended up... if. If this is the worst thing to happen from a draw from the deck of many things, then you, you've you won. You've won D&D. &D. And uh, congratulations, because your soul has not been sucked out of you and put in a prison that nobody can find. <laughs> yeah, in terms of odds, this is pretty good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to use my wish to create this. <laughs> really? All right, here you go. Counting Koo says it's the dolphin show. It's Sea World. Oh, I don't know. I think I think these creatures. I think these creatures can both swim and fly. I think so too. Float around wherever they feel like. I feel like once you have tentacles, you're allowed to fly, or at least hover. <laughs> Maybe that's a me thing. I don't know. <laughs> Darth Dragon zero two eight says, "Wait." Does the right one eat aliens? Oh, it's a fluffy ball holder plushie. Oh. Yeah, it's fluffy. Oh. <laughs> I am Cute. overwhelmed with adorableness. Oh, I am dead. Okay, I'm back. Choose the form of your destroyer, Gregarious. Yes, I would like to choose. To, I'm actually choosing fluffy. I'm choosing the fluffy beholder because look at it. <laughs> look at that eye. That big main eye. Oh. Although I don't know, the 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 one on the left definitely does look like if if I just if that's the form of my destroyer and I told it it could have the day off, it'd be happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it, there's something very um, the way that you've drawn that it, just one eye and it just gave this whole creature such <laughs> amazing personality. I love it. Like it's, it's just rolling in just the right way. I love it. <laughs> TC Hatchet asks, flying jellyfish? Yeah, that's a flump. If you've never seen a flump before, look them up. They are some of the best D&D monsters ever of all time. And I'm not just saying that. They really are. They're adorable and weird and ridiculous. And they're in that class of monster that you, you really don't encounter them to kill them. They're, they're not the kind of monster that you're going to uh, kick down the door and go fight. They are a incredibly weird role-playing challenge for your DM and then also for your players. And yeah, they're weird jellyfish that float. They also can be uh, knocked prone and if they are flipped over, they have to be they have to get help riding themselves like crabs. Oh. Uh. Yep. Uh, they change color, so they're normally like, like a pinkish pinkish blue but depending on the emotion that they are feeling they change color like a mood ring flumps are so much fun i love them so much <laughs> counting coups stay fluff marshmallow beholder there you go <laughs> yeah and yes uh cola pops points this out the pink beholder is a familiar in idol champions you can have that uh, that fluffy in yeah. your game I don't remember if it's if that's a gem shop purchase or if that's one that you buy with real money, but you can get the fluffy beholder and it is adorable and just happily, you know, helping you out as a familiar. And hey, if you're looking for more familiars, uh, I don't have any new news to share, but a couple weeks back we had a chance to vote in chat on a new familiar that was based on creatures that Alexis and Michelle had drawn. And two of those are gonna be going into the game 
the two that you chose. And I can't remember which specific ones, but I will use that as an opportunity to be coy. So uh, as soon as we know more, as soon as the familiars are going into the game, we will definitely let you know. And then you can go and actually have some of the creatures that they drew. I do remember them being, the, the ones that we settled on for the voting were all absolutely adorable. I don't remember what one. You know what? I can look it up. Yeah. Oh, I, I, both Michelle and I know which ones we did because we already drew them. <laughs> oh, did? Oh, so you drew your own familiars? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. amazing. Okay, Michelle, which one did you have? It was the owl bear. Uh, what was the adjective? Oh, the uh, overgrown. Uh, the overgrown uh, owl bear fox. Oh, wow. yeah. that's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Alexis? Oh, I did the flower dragon. Oh, yeah, the, the parrot flower yeah, the dragons. Parrot. Oh, yeah. Both of those ended up being so colorful. I think that was one of the reasons that they, they ended up winning is just the colors were so uh, vibrant and adorable. Yeah. So pretty. I am excited for when they appear in the game. I'm, I'm going to have to have them on screen all the time. <laughs> uh, Irene UK wants to know, I'm wondering why is Michelle's flumpkin holding a a pint pot? I think it's coffee cup? Coffee mug. I mean, that is... It's a nice, large coffee mug. It's, although, I guess I I haven't asked that question yet. I, I'm making an assumption on the size of your creature, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'm still asleep. Oh my god. <laughs> That's uh, amazing. I just noticed the bloodshot eyes. That's so good. <laughs> okay, it is it is time for me to ask what size are these creatures? Um I think like <laughs> Oh, this is a weird unit of measurement, but about four loaves of bread. <laughs> <laughs> so, but bigger than four bread boxes is what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. You know, not huge, but four four loaves. <laughs> okay. So how many loaves, to Michelle? How many loaves is your creature? <laughs> I would say maybe. Let's see, about fifty loaves. Oh, it's a lot of loaves. Because it's more of a dolphin size, I would think. Just because he looks more dolphin-y. <laughs> to be honest, that was my original thought because there is there is the the dolphin portion of them, and so I was kind of picturing it all relative to the coffee cup. But that you know, uh, that is an assumption on my part. I'm glad to know that I was thinking of the same number of loaves that you were. <laughs> 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 and so from now on, I'm just describing everything in loaves. Yeah. <laughs> How much do you weigh? Oh, about you know, forty eight loaves. <laughs> <laughs> of rye bread, though, not of white bread. The, the yeah. heavy stuff. <laughs> Maybe we can get a uh, loaf of bread emote for <laughs> And I just like, how many loaves do you think it is? Yeah. <laughs> a medium-sized creature is at least 50 loaves. A small creature, <laughs> uh, 35 to 40 loaves. Yeah. <sighs> Uh, or maybe we can do pancakes because I think there's there's already like a pancake emote, isn't there, for um, Girdle Champions? Yes, there is the flip emote. I'll, I'll go ahead and put it in the chat right now. Uh, the flip it emote, which if you join us on Fridays for Griddle Champions, which is an excellent show and you absolutely should. And I say us as in this streaming platform and not the three of us. Uh, because it actually has Sean and Lee, two amazing people who uh, Sean does the same thing I do, which is chat with the audience and chat with the, with Lee, who is making pancake art because art in pancake form. Lee has actually drawn some of the creatures that Michelle and Alexis have drawn, except he does them in pancake art, which is fun. <laughs> and so, of course, I say of course, but if you don't know, when you make pancake art, you have to draw it um, mirrored. You have to draw it backwards because then you eventually have to flip the pancake. And so that we have a flip it emote because eventually you have to flip it. And there we go. Someone has, uh, Counting Coup has put a backwards flip it emote in chat, which is incredibly appropriate. So, so yes, come by on Fridays from 10 till noon to join us for the, uh, for Griddle Champions. 
Um, we had a couple of other questions come into chat that I missed while we were laughing about loaves. <laughs> um, we got a question from Alpha Krull, who has been incredibly kind and gracious and included how to pronounce your name. Alpha Krull, thank you. I appreciate you. Would there be a chance for posters of these drawings and or possibly to have them signed like at a later con when they're back? Hmm. I have no clue, but I am intrigued by the idea. That would be fun to put them all into one poster. Yeah. Ooh. We're doing so many of them now. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, so this is episode 16. So there's, so there's been 32 creatures. If we remove the two that are becoming uh, familiars and just go with the other, that's 30 creatures as of the end of the day today. That's easily several poster sizes that's at least 45 loaves i mean it's <laughs> <laughs> sorry it's my new unit measurement i'm saying everything in loaves uh, i have no idea when we're going to be back at conventions um I, I we're still taking it very cautious it's i know there's a bunch of conventions coming up and i'm anxious to go i'm here in the seattle area and i would love to go to pax west but i'm still feeling like, eh, it's, it's a little, mm. until, I don't want to go anywhere where there's going to be kids because kids can't be vaccinated yet. And I would like mm -hmm. everybody to at least have the chance to be vaccinated. So that's kind of my personal feeling, but I am uh, excited about when that happens and conventions can happen again. And if that happens, then yeah, I will suggest posters of, of these amazing creatures. Yeah, I wouldn't mind having one for myself Yeah, <laughs> to put behind my desk. See, and now we just we're just gonna make our own. <laughs> yep. Or or instead of posters, uh, every pair is printed and framed and then hung on the wall, and then you just end up with an entire wall full of these amazing creatures, all framed individually depending on the episode. Ah, that'd be wonderful. <laughs> that'd be a great backdrop. <laughs> I like that. I, I I might I might have an idea for something. I, I'm gonna be excited. Uh, Star Chaser forty three. How many loaves of bread does it take to measure your monster? We'll never know. They keep eating the bread just before we're done. <laughs> I mean, bread is delicious. And and apparently a good way to measure things, but also delicious. So I I don't blame uh, Flumpkins for coming up with or for eating all of the bread. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe that's just what they eat. They just eat bread. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, we do have the is cake. Is that close enough? Has cake? Has, mm -hmm. Is cake? Maybe. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, maybe we should change it to is carbs. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> no, I'm trying to avoid carbs. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so hard. <laughs> Delicious carbs. So yummy, yummy carbs and cheese. I've I've been mm -hmm. avoiding cheese too. Don't get old. It sucks. Uh, you know what doesn't suck? Uh, the fluffy beholder plushie that that your adorable creature is holding. Uh, Cassie's three three five wants to know if the right one goes into the game, will it still have the fluffy beholder plushie? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, like just kind of tucked under a a, a tentacle or flipper. I'm not really sure what those are. <laughs> Hey, you're the artist. Whatever you say it is, is mm -hmm. what it is. Mm, it's an appendage. <laughs> Just go with that. Catch all. My suggestion, if it does end up in the game, which obviously we're not saying anything is, we've already been lucky enough to be able to have two of them end up in the game. We'll see what happens from here. But I could totally see this creature as one of the familiars that's on the field that's doing click damage, except it's not the uh, sleepy dolphin flump that's doing the click damage. It's the little plushy beholder that is doing, making oh. a little motion. Oh, like the the flump is still sleeping and then the plushie is just like, oh, I'll protect you, pew, pew. <laughs> I gotcha. <laughs> 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 uh, Beastary Archivist says, can we include flipped in the adjective list? I don't know yeah. how that would work, but I'm intrigued. Hmm, flipped. Are that would just... mean Michelle and I have to draw on opposite sides. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, now now I kind of want to do it now. Huh? All right. Oh, Kindred Rap is suggesting uh, print order lithios, t-shirts, mugs, space balls, the flamethrower, all the <laughs> options. <laughs> I mean, uh, merch is fun. It is also not cheap to make or easy to make. And, you know, we're, we're just having fun with this. But if anything changes and we ever decide to uh, open up a line of, of Flumpkin merchandise on Teespring, then we will let you know. Mm -hmm. And there'll be a Beholder plushie and a sh I'm still asleep coffee mug. <laughs> I really want that coffee mug. I Thank really, you. it's in that gold shine and everything like, and it's huge too. I am a fan <laughs> of the, the large coffee mugs. Um, Cassius335 wants to know for next week, can slot one on all three tables be chat's choice or is that too mean? I don't think it's mean. I just think it would, it, it might be more difficult because essentially chat, um, like how would we figure out what chat's choice is would we do a giveaway and the winner of the giveaway gets to choose would we just pick a few things on there and then chat gets to pick from the the smaller list mm -hmm. that could be really fun like do three polls with four things each and chat gets to choose what each thing is Jeez, I'm tired. <laughs> Words forming hard. <laughs> words, words are hard. I mean, you're, the both of you are arting very well, and so that's the important bit. Yeah, I let me think about that. I like the idea of just making it practically possible in a quick enough manner so that uh, poor Michelle and Alexis don't lose too much time. Mm -hmm. uh, because, I mean, today they obviously are just kicking butt and taking art names and they've created these creatures uh, but it's good to give them as much time as possible so mm -hmm. I'd hate for us to spend 15 minutes going through rolling uh, going through uh, voting tables in order to to get our stuff but that just means I need to come up with a smart way to do it that's all mm -hmm. maybe we could do like one pull per week until we get the stuff and then the next week we do the monster I, or it could be we do the, uh, the poll, say, right now mm -hmm. for all three for next week. And yeah. so we wouldn't even need to take three weeks. We'd just be like, okay, it's the middle of this episode. And instead of talking about rolling tables, we're going to we're gonna do some voting. Mm -hmm. That could mm -hmm. work. Yeah. It'd also be interesting to allow the two of you a chance to kind of mull over ideas, too. Yeah. I know half the fun of this is watching you on the fly, but also, you know, it's it's also fun to try different things. Mm -hmm. okay. We only have a few minutes left. Let me see if I can get through the last few uh, comments and questions. Uh, once again, thank you to Sasha for being an amazing mod in chat. Really appreciate you. Gregarious wants to know, it's appropriate that the left one is drinking coffee as dolphins don't do full sleep. The right can finally enjoy full sleep before be, uh, full sleep being more flumpy. <laughs> yeah, I guess, I think I heard about this. That, yeah, dolphins, they don't go into, they don't, they don't do what we do as in sleep, sleep, sleep. Because, you know, drowning is a thing. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I think I heard about that. Uh, it's not like sharks in where if they stop moving, they die. But yeah. Hmm. Uh, Optimus SE suggests instead of a familiar that does damage, how about a familiar that heals? I mean, doesn't the fluffy beholder heal our hearts? <laughs> <laughs> All right. And with that joke, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna call that a win. I I got two of them to laugh, and so I'm gonna call it a win. Um, for stick around because we're actually going to go raid Penny Arcade in a few minutes because the C team is back and uh, pretty much the entire C team is in our game. So as soon as we're done here, we're going to shuffle off to the C team and have some fun with them. But before we leave. As I said, make sure that if you are participating in creating your own piece of art, let us know on social media, on any of the Idol Champion social medias. Use the hashtag sketching hour and we can find it. Also, if we would like to find out more about uh, both of you, the lovely artists behind all of these amazing creatures that you've been making, Michelle, 
where can we find more of your fabulous art? Um, I post on Instagram at, um, let's see, Art of Michelle. No, it's Michelle Papadopoulos <laughs> on Instagram. <laughs> and then on Twitter, it's Art of Michelle. And Alexis, where can we find more of your fabulous art? I'm on Instagram at Alexis.Thero and on Twitter at AlexisThero. And you cannot find any of my fabulous art because I don't draw. One of these days, I'm going to draw a stick figure and I'll put that up there. But if you would like to <laughs> see more of my ramblings on Twitter, you can find me as Obolorin on Twitter. You can also find me coming up on a lot more shows, but you can't find me here next week. Sorry, everybody. Uh, I'm out of town for a couple of days, but you will still have Michelle and Alexis who are fantastic and you will have the amazing Margaret who will be sitting in this box right here doing all of the chatting with chat. And so with that, stick around. We're going to go raid a C-team and until the next time, we'll see you next encounter. Bye. Thanks everyone. Bye. Bye.